Hello everyone and welcome back to Crossplay's Final Fantasy IX. Today, well, we're controlling a frog, also known as Sid. Now, we really only have a very select few places to go, and that's not one of them. I don't have time to be following them, ribbit. Yeah, we want to actually just go this way, and we get to do the not most annoying minigame there is, but definitely one that's not fun. That must be the key that we're talking about, ribbit. So pretty much you just gotta play red light, green light. When this thing looks at you, you stop. When it turns around, you mash the circle button, or B button. Now this thing can turn on a dime, so you have to be very cautious. Mm, I hate you so much, you goddamn red bitch. I guess I should stand still when that creature looks this way, Ribbit. Get the key. Press the B button to go forward. Oh my god. We only have six minutes and... <laughs> oh, if only I was a man again, I wouldn't fear the beast, Ribbit. Yeah, you have six minutes. And if you fuck it up, there everyone dies. Not just the heroes, but everyone dies. Like, they, everyone just gets a massive heart attack and just collapses. Turn around. Do it. Thank you. Oh, I hate you so much. You remind me of an ex-girlfriend. That's just rude. To the hedgehog, but not my ex. Come on. Oh. Sorry for the quiet. I'm concentrating. But oh, this is the hardest task in my life. Don't fuck it up, Kronos. Just, just grab it, Sid. Oh, thank God. You received the hourglass key. The thing turns around, Sid just, just, just walks away. Just walks away. Examine the weights. This weight is made of wood. A little faster, though, Sid. This weight is made of clay. This weight is made of stone. And this weight is made of my failed dreams. Alright, because we examine the weights, when we put the weights on the scale now, we can actually see which weight is which. And obviously, clay, sto uh, clay stone, and iron are going to be the heaviest one out of the bunch. Because it's clay, stone, and iron, and wood's not involved in it. And that's what we want to do. We want to put all the weight on one side, so when Mr. Hippity Hop over here climbs the scale, he can just jump on it with no problems. So yeah, if you didn't get... I guess, yeah, if you didn't get the key within freaking four, uh, three minutes, you'd probably be screwed, maybe, if you didn't know the exact combination. Just have to turn this upside down, Ribbit. I actually don't know what happens when you fail. I think everyone dies. I, it's been a long time since I failed that. Now everyone should be alright, Ribbit. But for some reason, that just opens the door also. Why did it open the door? Like, it should have just stopped the floors from falling in, right? I don't know. I thought it was a goner. Thank goodness we made it. Ah! You all made it. Huh? You saved us? And it wasn't easy, mind you. But we've no time to celebrate, Ribbit. I heard from the two black mages, Ribbit, that there's some kind of trap ahead. They said you basically just have to turn them all on. Whatever that means, Ribbit. Let's hurry. That's right. We can't just uh, rely on Zidane. I mean, we could. We have to work together until Zidane gets back. We can do, we can do it if we stick together. This is true. So... Last time, before I took the Glug Stone, I unequipped everyone in that party, so now we should have the best equipment, and I'm gonna spend some time putting that on. All right, so this is the equipment that I'm using. Uh, I kinda 
prioritize it on what's their best equipment and what's the most useful abilities for learn in the long run. You definitely want the Enkai armlet on to Vivi as the boss of this area is weak to water. Uh, I also have the black robe on so he does have flare available and Rosetta ring because I kind of want to learn reflect times two. That will come in handy especially if you have like auto reflect on him in the future. Uh, for everyone else, I have like the light robe on Quina. I would love to get half MP on, but I'm kind of lacking ability crystals right now. Uh, I have clear headed on everyone but Amorant because Amorant doesn't know it. He's actually lacking almost all of his abilities, which is still somewhat surprising to me. Hello, Mr. Moogle. Uh, do you have a thing for me? Wow, a visitor, Kapu. I need to deliver mail for me, Kapu. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Kapu. And is that it? And I believe this is the same shop as it was before. I'm actually, like, shocked of how low the encounter rate was for the Oliver place. Like, straight up. Like, I was expecting to go in there and just gain a lot of levels with Dagger. And it's not the end of the world. But I was also looking forward to the ability points that I was going to get. I don't know why... I mean, the encounter rate was never, like, stupidly high. But the last time I went through it... It was high enough that I just gained a stupid amount of experience and abilities. Also, this is the de Desert Palace. Go Desert Palace. So, the basic premise of this dungeon is light all the candles. When you write, uh, light the certain combination correctly, one of these will appear, offering a power. Faithful Paladin, extract the power to nullify elemental prophecies from this ring. Inspect the Bloodstone? Yes. You want to take all the Bloodstone. Doing so will pretty much neuter the boss uh, that's coming up. If you don't get all the bloodstones, then you run into a bit of an issue when it comes to the boss being buffed up. It's not the end of the world, you can still easily do it, it just takes more preparation. On the plus side of getting these bloodstones, you're gonna get equipment for each bloodstone you take. Illusion of the Goddess, the path will open when the lamp is lit. Promise of the evil god, the bloodstone is a source of his power. Each color holds different powers. That sounded fucked up, game. What the hell was that? Truth of the devil, the bloodstone is proof of his power. Hide the light with your hand. Thank you. You just gotta run back and forth for a while, and the goddess is like, dude, come on. Just get on the stairs already. And we want to come up here because there's a nice little bit of, well, not treasure, but there's a lamp for us to light, which will lead to treasure. Also, by the way, everything in this area is weak to level 5 death from Quina. So feel free to rain death upon them in the most literal sense you could. Did you just grunt at me? What are you guys, Draken? You look like you want to be Cthulhu, but you can't be Cthulhu. Cthulhu would not be stupid enough to get hit with level 5 death. Probably. Maybe? Yeah, probably. How much experience? Almost 3,000. That's not bad. Everyone's going to gain a lot of levels. I mean, I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping that the encounter rate is better in this area than it was because Armor really needs some love. Uh, not to mention, like, I'm kind of basing my whole not stopping the grind mentality of the counter rates being up to snuff when these dungeons. Not that I like editing out random encounters, just it it makes it, it makes the end game easier. All right, so which one do you want to light? You want to light this one down here, yeah, and then we want to light this one up here. There's the white. Uh huh. Uh huh. We like it. Don't light the other one down there. We want to come up and around. Now, the this little puzzle area is not that hard. That wasn't the way. Was that the way? Was that the way? Yeah, no, that was the right one. <laughs> As I was just about to say, the puzzle of this area is not that hard. It's more just trial and error. And the more you go through this place, the easier it gets. Uh, but I believe there are maps and walkthroughs online if, like, what I'm doing is too confusing and just, like, kind of going through it willy-nilly. Um, I don't know. Final Fantasy IX is definitely not one of the more 
played through games of mine when it comes to Final Fantasy games. That would definitely fall to like Final Fantasy 4 and Final Fantasy 6 and 7 maybe. Final Fantasy 9, I love the game, but I haven't really played through it as much time as like Final Fantasy 4. But for some reason this place, I just kind of... Oh, like I remember exactly what to do. Offering the power of Faithful Paladin, extract the magic from the chain. S inspect the Bloodstone. And you receive an anklet. Ah, it's not bad. Okay, so you see this thing? It's one of those Bloodstone things. So you want to be on the lookout for this. It kind of just blends in. You know, for an evil guy, he sure has a lot of, like, busty angels in this place. Faithful Paladin, extract the, uh, the strength to resist from the armor. And receive the shield armor. That's like our second one. Now, this is another one of those areas that's perspective wise, is hard for me to grasp. There we go. I like this. Doesn't give us treasure just yet, but we do need to light it. Actually, that's more of we just need to light it to get through the, through the area. Ah, oh, what a beautiful library. Actually, I think we need to light this one over here first. And that will lift the stairs. Come on. There we go. Still only one encounter. I think this game just just doesn't like me. Grab this. Faithful power and extract the power to dodge with the bracers. Or from the bracers, not with the bracers. Get an Enkai armlet. So if you didn't have one from the Chocographs, you could have gotten one there, which would allow Vivi to learn water, which is something you want to do. Oh yeah, look at this. Wise man's folly. Unlit stained glass opens the path when lit. Remember that, kids, when you're in high school. Don't don't actually remember that when you're in high school. That, that serves literally no purpose. Oh well, okay, it does hint at what needs to happen, but. If you just follow the instructions of just light everything, you're going to be good to go. Like, you don't need to get all the bloodstones. It helps a lot, but you don't need to do it. Again, it's recommended, but you don't need to do it. You don't need to do most things in this game, but... You know, nice little touch here and there, though. You, you, don't, you don't see something like this that often, do you? No, I mean, not the, the ability to walk through walls, but, like, a dungeon that has switch and little trinkets that you could flip on and off that will weaken the boss of the area. Hello, Mr. Moogle. Mog Sam. I almost, almost called you Mogasm. Uh, this guy does have a letter for us. Oh, no, we actually have a letter for him. But I'm not going to give it to him just yet. Uh, we will be back later. Well, I'm going to come back later on my Chocobo and after I drop off the Kapuna. So we'll, we'll do with it then. I'll deal with it then. Alright, smart to make a save here just in case oh, you either miss a Bloodstone or you die. <laughs> I mean, judging from this place, we've already killed the enemies of the area when we first got out of jail. I'm not... I'm a little surprised we actually aren't fighting the black mages again. I would have kind of guessed that Kuja would have convinced him to attack us. Faithful Paladin, extract the strength to resist magic from the hat. Inspect the bloodstone. Absolutely. And we get a black hood. Actually, I think that is better for VB because it actually teaches him death. Lowers speed and strength, increases magic defense, but it teaches them death, and if you want to learn all of his spells, you should do that. After which, we want to unlight this candle. Um, death is about as useful in this game as it is in every other game, meaning it's not useful and has very low accuracy. Uh, it's still nice to have. There are some enemies that will be susceptible to it. I'm more of a level 5 death kind of guy. Camera, you don't need to do that every time I light the camera that casts the shadow on these guys. I do like the shadow effects, though. Grab uh, this. Uh, uh, Faithful Paladin, extract the power to dodge magic from the shield! And we get the Venetia shield. 
It's, I don't think anyone in our party can equip it. It's like one of the few shield items in the game. And now we want to unlock this one. We want the shadows facing the same direction to the left, if you notice. It's kind of creepy looking, actually. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be like demon gargoyles, if anything, not angels. I mean, the statues earlier were of angels. These guys are just straight up gargoyles. All right, so you want to make sure body temp is pretty much on everyone. Uh, do I want to give... Okay, body temp is on you. Uh, I probably should put reflect... Ah, I can't really afford that, can I? We've literally only ran into one freaking battle here. That is stupid. I still want... If body temp's on you, Omri, can you actually have body temp? You need body temp, we'll take that and that. You have body temp, well, that's something at the very least. Well, alright. Let's go light this candle. Intruder alert, defense system activated. Initializing automatic countermeasures, transferring from observation to attack mode. Huh? That's not Kuja's voice. Who's there? Come on and show yourself. Ah, it's a pillar thingy. Enhancing defense systems. Detecting active bloodstones. Fail to disable only yeah, ads. Okay, so because we got all the bloodstones, it's not gonna be able to enhance itself. Thus, it's going, it's going to have a hard time. Now, this thing is weak to wind and water. If we had not gotten like the magic defense or the elemental defense, it would pretty much be immune to all elemental damage, which would have sucked. Uh, it's going to cast Reflect on itself, though, in the start of this. So what I need to do is pretty much get to Eco's turn. And we'll focus one BB a couple times, I guess. And we want to put Carbuncle on, and actually, we could kill this by depleting its entire, uh, what's it called, entire thingamajig. MP, there we go. We could deplete its entire MP and it would die. Do I want to, you know what? Mm, white Wind. Runa, you are the healer for the group. That's probably not going to do too much. Summon! Carbuncle! And then we'll come here. And we definitely want to wait until Carbuncle actually gets Reflect on everyone before VB casts Water on everyone. That should do it. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Now we have Chakra here. We really need it. Costs 4 MP, restores 1 uh, HP and MP of one party member. Again, if you really need it, we probably won't. So I'm just going to come in here and throw freaking pinwheels at the guy. There we go. Should cause, the, cause a few thousand points of damage. This guy only has 12,000-ish HP. Not going to be a problem. In fact, it's going to hurt itself with its own blizzard right now. Good job. Now, because I cast water on every single party member, it's going to reflect onto this guy four times, which should cause about max damage. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe not. I guess I should have focused up a little bit more. But two of those should be more than enough. I'm gonna put Carbuckle on the party again because it has done more off. And one more water should do it. Now, I think if you had like Reflect, reflect Null on BB, actually, can you even get Reflect Null on BB? Then you could have just done it that way. Or if everyone had auto reflect on, you wouldn't have to worry about Carbuncle. We'll throw another pinwheel just to be okay. No, it's dead. Alright. Good job, VB. You could have uh, focused three to four times and that would have maxed out VB's magic. And that probably would have done 9,999 damage. But, eh. What are you gonna do, right? Yay, everyone's happy. 
11 AP is not bad. We finally got uh, through that curse, uh, not curse, but the Mithril Claw that was on Omerant. And I guess Dragon the Claw next. Yeah. I'm so, so sad about the encounter rate in this area. All right, just making a quick adjustment to some equipment. And once we light that candle, we can come down here and be teleported. Meanwhile, in the Hall of Justice, finally made it back. Well, no rest for the wicked. I gotta get moving. And he's not wrong. I'm actually gonna quickly just optimize this stuff in here. I'm not gonna worry too much about what we want to learn. Uh, I just want to make sure we have equipment on our characters as we go through this area, because there are encounters, and knowing my luck, we'll actually encounter them in this area with this party that's already high enough level opposed to the other party who ran into one encounter i think my biggest part about this why i'm so sad is because now i have like no money in comparison to what i wanted by the end of this what the where are we now did i take a wrong turn it was a straight path to the dawn Welcome back. I'm inside the room past the stairs, but I want you to come alone, Zidane. Alone. Zidane, it's surely a trap. Proceed with caution. Yeah, tell me about it. I'll be okay. You guys just wait here. Actually, can I talk to you? Stay alert, soldier. I'm not a soldier. I'm a thief. You must exercise caution. What about you, Dagger? Talk to me, Dagger. I know you can't really speak, but talk to me. I'm t wow, she's not even going to dot, dot, dot me. That's insulting, really. I do like the fortress, though, though, the palace. It's very, very, very noble evil man. You're right. You know, just disappearing walls, though, could, uh, could be a little bit annoying in the long run. I'm so happy to see you again, Zidane. My friends better be alright. Oh my, blunt as always, I see. Take a look in there. Gasp. No need to worry. They just needed some rest, that's all. Now, give me the glug stone. Dot, dot, dot. I wonder how the others are doing. Gasp! Fucking Quinn's tongue. Huh? Where's the Don? He went alone to Kuja's chamber. But how did you escape? Actually, there's no time. We gotta stop the Don. I like how VV and Quinn are somehow faster than everyone else. And they're like the slowest party members. What the heck? Ah, uh, Eco. Now, give me the glug stone. You bastard. You're the worst scum alive. Yon, I grow wary of your tantrums. Well, will you hand it over or not? Don't give it to him, Zidane. Huh? So who's inside the cage? Oh, dear, I wasn't expecting this. That's right, the ones inside are fake. But don't think you've won yet. I wonder what he used to copy the character's looks. Like, is it a magic illusion type spell? Or did he make dolls? Kind of like the black mages in the form of us. Did he go to like the Oliver place, get one of those stone guys, and have him spit a couple of copies? I don't really know. What do you mean by that? <laughs> ah, leave me alone. Eco. Ribbit. I'll protect you. What a, f uh, what a freak. This frog can speak. Frog that goes squish. He'll make a fine dish. 
Dot, 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 dot. Rip, rip, rip it. Oh, man. Hey. I wanted to finish you, off, finish you off after getting the Galug Stone and killing all your friends. Instead, I'll just take the girl. I hope we meet again. Ugh. They won't respond. He plans to flee on the Hildegrad. Let's get him. Uh, yeah. This party's fine for now. Uh, over here... We get a naming way card. Now, I believe if you didn't win the tournament earlier in the game, you would that is your only way to get the naming way card. I think. I think that's the only way. The only only one I really know. Get in there. So pretty much we gotta go back to where that ship was. Uh where Sedan first started. Because that's where Kuja went. I mean I guess it's very convenient to have a, a telepad in his room that only he can use, that leads to the air dock. Steiner learned power break? Oh, okay. I was like, that sounds like something we should have learned way earlier in the game. Uh, how are you doing on that? Ah, man, you're still that far. Well, we're gonna put her on Trident and then Holy Lance in a little bit of time, uh, because I wanna learn those abilities, and figured might as well go with Trident, right? Maybe I'll bring her along. Oh, actually, We'll do that in a little bit. I was gonna say there there is a friendly monster coming up after this area. I'll have to adjust the equipment though, because I don't want to give the AP to crappy armor. Damn it, he get away. We can still follow him on the blue narcissus. Great minds think alike. Are you saying your mind is that of a frog, Zidon? Let's go, people! Now, there's a lever over here that kind of blends in. And Zidon apparently doesn't know how to use levers as he just kicks them. Good job, Zidane. I love how the music has been persistent since Kuja's room. Like, through all the transitions, it just goes. Little, little things like that is such a nice touch. I wish I could open my map and show you where exactly this is right now. But he, uh, hmm, that's not, it's the, like, outer continent, not the forgotten continent that he just flew by. And somehow, <laughs> the blue narcissist has caught up. Like, that is seriously a fast ship. It has caught up with an airship that had that much of a lead. Uh, we're on the lost continent now, also known as the Shimmering Island, or the Shimmering Isles. It's where uh, Esto Gaza is. Hey, Blank, how's it going, buddy? He headed towards some weird-looking structure. Is there something beyond that? What the hell is Kuja up to? Why did he take Aiko? Riko? His motives are unclear, Ribbit. That girl can summon Adolans, too, Ribbit? Question mark? Yeah. That's it, he's probably after her for the same reason he was after Dagger. Tuts. Don't worry, Dagger. We were not going to let him have his way. Like last time when we failed you. I mean, you, you kind of went back on your own. Kuja's got a lot, of, a lot to answer for. Which actually brings up the point, like... He was going to kill Eko. Why did he, like... <laughs> I'm gonna, like, why was he going to kill Eko? Then he needed her, right? Alright, so I think I'm going to go with Armorant, Quina, and Dagger. Ah, uh, shit. For, for right now, I think, because I want to do that friendly monster. But, you know, we'll worry about that next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.